And we're back from the blue corner. My name is Dennis and I am your host. But enough about me and let's get on with the show. Today's guest joins us via video call. And he really doesn't need an introduction, but I'm going to try anyway. Um, he's the former Tachi Palace champion, one of the original UFC flyweights before finishing his fighting career in Japan under the Ryzen banner. He's the father of one, creepy to some. And he's a good friend of mine who now works with uh, sports medicines and uh, education. If you haven't guessed already, I'm talking about none other than Uncle Creepy, Mr. Ian McCall. How are you, brother? Me? Oh, I'm beautiful. Life is beautiful. I've never, uh, I have to say, life has never been so good. You know, I'm, I'm now uh, transitioning, or I have transitioned into psychedelic work. Um, I'm the world's first psychedelic integration coach for high-level sports or performers. That's a fancy way of saying uh, I, it just sounds nice. You know, I, I work with anybody realistically. But, um, you know, I just want to – I have a different outlook or a different perspective on this when it comes to those sort of performers. Very few people in psychedelics can – especially with athletes, maybe with artists or, you know, musicians or whatever. But uh, – when it comes to savages, um, that's my wheelhouse. And to be able to work within the space, um, you know, ethically and with, you know, harm prevention and all the right things involved, um, you know, I, I can take someone who is uh, a good fighter. Think about this. If you're in the UFC, you're a world-class athlete, you're an amazing fighter. So I, I want to take you from, you know, good, average to great, great to elite. And then with the simple things that I teach, it's a, uh, it's within grasp for anybody, realistically. This is, this isn't again, I, I make it sound fancy, but it's for anyone. Whether you're trying to accomplish your first 5K or you're trying to become champion of the world in some sort of sport, uh, I can help you. You know, just, just trying to, to, to deal with uh, the existential crises of life uh, in a positive, uh, very impactful way is, is, um, is my whole outlook of how I can just help people um, become the best version of themselves, we'll say. And when you say dealing in psychedelics, is it uh, one psychedelic in particular, or I is it a multitude of, of different psych uh, psychedelics? What 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 uh, you know, or is it like different athletes have different psychedelics, or how how does that all work? Uh, I work mainly with psilocybin or magic mushrooms, the active ingredient, the medicine inside of magic mushrooms. Um, that's my specialty. Obviously, all psychedelics work for certain applications um but yeah like i said m you know myself and and i guess my team at unlimited sciences with rashad evans and del jolly and heather joe clark and uh my beloved my girlfriend um you know we we have a study going with the ufc now mind you they can't publicly fund us because it's a schedule one substance and they're a US based company. But we have ties with, I mean, the FDA has approved what we're doing, ties with Johns Hopkins. Uh, we have the greatest minds in psychedelics at our fingertips. And um, for the UFC to welcome me with open arms, you know, Jeff Davitsky, as you know, is a, a good friend of mine and mentor. Um, he, he understands that I only have the fighter's best interest at heart and that I'm going to bring them everything possible that I can because I've healed myself. And if anyone, if I can do it, anyone else can do it. Um, and, and more specifically, the, the psilocybin does something called epigenetic neurogenesis. It's a big word, uh, but you'll hear it more and more and more. Um, it is the healing of the brain itself, having a, an extended period of time with psilocybin, again, that active ingredient in magic mushrooms in your brain. Um, you actually heal the brain itself. You heal the receptor sites and the neural pathways, create new neural pathways get each hemisphere of your brain speaking much more than it usually does. Um, and you see the benefits in first is making people a better person is dealing with the trauma, the addiction with a larger dose, you know, with a macro dose, you can make these people just more comfortable in their own skin. You know, uh, our trauma is stored inside of our tissue. So that can manifest it. We're all childhood trauma stuff too. It's all, we're all broken children. So, um, you know, these things come from deep down inside of us and they work their way out. They manifest in the worst times possible under the highest amounts of stress. And, you know, you have octagon just, you know, I'm, I'm weak. I'm a weak individual because I made it all the way to the UFC and got scared. No, you didn't. 
that's just that's that's that is your your brain your brain your brain your brain playing tricks on you um your body playing tricks on you because you're going into a high stress situation and you know first we have to deal with those childhood traumas the addictions and then from there we can delve into the performance benefits of something like psilocybin i mean usada or as you know the united states anti-doping agency um they do not test or ufc says we do not test for psilocybin and it's because they can't but uh realistically they, they know the healing benefits jeff davinsky knows all about mushrooms because of me <laughs> he is very well educated on it because of, i pride myself in having the right information out there and, and in here you know and in here like it, it's doing the right thing with all this medicine it's being the right person being um accountable and and, and just having the right energy behind it the mindset everything and and being able to show people um exactly the potential and and knowing that jeff davisky will call me and go hey how many tickets do you need this weekend and i'm like what i wasn't going to be in vegas no 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 you should be here you need to talk to some people i'm like okay six and just bloop, 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 write my email and there's tickets so it's never been easier for me to access the ufc and i've known these people since i was a teenager so it's pretty funny how that works and how does it actually sit with the uh u.s i guess laws and then as you say usada is it you know, is is it a point that it will, uh, well, with the federal laws, I guess, is it legal? And with USADA, is will no. it will it will it ever cross over to be uh, a performance enhancing drug in in a sense? Like, where where does it sit with both of those kind of platforms? So something like lysergic acid or LSD, Lucy, whatever you want to call it, that I'm sure would make you piss hot. <laughs> um, I think I never I haven't asked. It's weird. Um, but yeah, you know, these are natural substances. I mean, even LSD is derived from ergot fungus. This is, eh, they understand not only the healing potentials, but also the protective potential. It's going to protect you from further damage, heal you from previous damage, and then also make you perform better. Because once you get into the performance benefits of this, um, people always flow state. Okay. Um, and mind you, it is illegal in in the U.S. It's, it's, they're illegal. It's, it's legal it's legal in mexico it's legal in brazil but the u.s is behind the curve and as i was showing you this earlier uh i work with a station called Unli or um uh, decriminalized california i was looking at the sticker i couldn't pronounce it <laughs> uh so we are on the political side we are helping create um <clears throat> helping create this these laws getting passed or these these laws going to you know government so they can decide for us which is absurd uh, but, you know, sure, you are doing something illegal. That's what people have to watch out for. That's what I always say. Look, I'm not a drug dealer. I'm not going to help you get these things. But people are going to do them in mass. And, and the numbers from uh, from the psychedelic people that at least talk about it, uh, from studies have shown, um, the numbers are going up by 40% every year. That's huge. That's crazy. So, And that's just that's just the people that talk about it, right? I mean, it's nuts. So we're just trying to help them get through this the safest way possible and that that again leads to everybody everyone gets a fair shake here because the great terence mckenna once said we're all afflicted with one thing and that is the human condition all of us don't care where you're from what color you are race creed uh it doesn't matter we're all afflicted with it and these these natural medicines can help you help you become a better version of yourself because uh with things like death of ego and you know all these childhood traumas coming up uh, you you really can create a better a better person a better version of, of, of whoever you are you know and, and a happy version that's the best thing and, and that, again i keep going back to that because that's that's the that's the best part that's the most important i don't give a fuck if you ever fight again i mean uh, of course i'm too and i will be able to just being more more comfortable in your own and then you know you can get into that flow state which is such a term because you have in every sense smell taste every, everything is up you get visual acuity and you can read someone's energy better their posture their breath work their facial expressions their movement everything gets analyzed at a much uh, faster speed it feels like you're slowed down but you're not your brain is just analyzing information and absorbing information and 
uh, remembering old information. You know, you, you have something called the fear response and uh, that drops. So that drops down and let's say back to the macro dose. It helps you communicate with someone better. You're not afraid to say what you need to say. You're not afraid to hear what you need to hear. Um, that also involves and i think i've just lost you um i'll give you a quick moment to see if we can actually get you back i don't i don't know what's going on um yeah i think we're just gonna have to take a quick break and see if we can get him back Hey. All right, where did you lose me? All right, so um, let me just think. That's right. So we got you back, and I lost you yes. around. Or I lost you around the point where you were talking about obviously being able to translate messages and also receive the messages, not being afraid to speak your mind and 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 so forth. Oh, uh, okay. So the fear response. Uh, that's going to lend itself to a, a lot of parts of performance, whether it's, um, you know, again, you interacting with someone, someone you love. We teach couples therapy or also parenting, psychedelic integration for parenting. Um, and, uh, you know, to be able to sit there with the person you love and hear what you need to hear and say what you need to say is a big, big deal. You know, um, that same fear response is going to lend itself to cardio. So, you aren't afraid to get tired. Your breath is strong and rhythmic. It's very calming. You get into this good, you know, heightened state there where you get just a, a better flow of oxygen. Now, if you have something like a cordyceps mushroom blended in with a microdose, you have a vasodilation. So you have literally more oxygen in your blood. Um, you have uh, in, in certain mushrooms, you have uh, ATP or adenosine triphosphate, which is a, a source of energy. Uh, it's like a you know caffeine source, but not as not that up jittery. It's a little lower. You know, it's different. But um, did I get into the actual performance benefits? Uh, remind me. Oh, we're talking about your, the all all five senses being heightened and all that, or did you miss that part? No, I think I think we missed that. Okay, so we're getting into flow. You have all the good stuff before the healing. And now you get into flow state. So. Uh, flow state is a very broad term. People think, I don't know what they think, <laughs> but it's really, it's a really, it's a magical place where you're just, I don't know. It's, uh, getting into the flow state. It is magical. You, it's incredible actually, but, um, this is what it is. So you get an uptick in every single sense you have sight, sound, smell, taste. Um, you can actually see better. Okay. You can hear better. You can hear their breath, their footwork. You see their posture, their facial expression, their all that stuff. It's all running through your mind, so you can analyze that information at a very high level. Your your hard drive is is, is a lot bigger than usual, a lot faster than usual. Um, you can remember old information, and again, that fear response of, of being down, you can engage um, physically, you know, and go for moves you've never gone before. Um, you know, you can see things, movements, you know, if you study the way a person moves, you know, you know that if it's here, I'm throwing this, or if I come here, I'm going here. So it's obviously I'm a little obsessive over certain things. That's why I was so good at what I did. But, um, you know, you, you're able to absorb that information and analyze it much faster. So then the, that's the mental efficiency. That's the flow state. But then you have kinetic efficiency, kinetic efficiency or the efficiency of the body. You're not going to be actually physically stronger, I guess, with something like a steroid, like testosterone or what have you. Um, but you're you're going to move much more efficient. Your bones will stack better. Your posture's better. So I mean, you well, you you're the strongest version of yourself. You're not you're not you just move better. So you can lift more. You can be faster. You can think faster. You can do all this sort of stuff. And and then um, you know, you have a uh, mobility is heightened. Where with cannabis or, or you know weed, um, you, you are actually more flexible. Some studies have shown, I should say. Uh, you're more flexible. I'm guessing that has to do with inflammation and the pain threshold being up to it on, on cannabis. Um, but then with, with, with psilocybin, you have mobility, which is strength under flexibility. Your body's not going to get scared to be in some certain bad, you know, lock 
which you shouldn't be afraid of, but you'll be able to work out. It'll give you that little split second you need. Um, and, you know, your, your body will be relaxed under these stressful situations, you know, with your shoulder bent, your arm out, whatever it is. You're, you're, a lot of the times your body will, will tighten up and that leads to, again, some sort of catastrophic tear, rip, break, whatever it is. And that is crazy, so yeah, right? The, the, because because it's, it's, it's the same. They say the same thing. Like if you're in a car accident, right? And, and the driver yeah. sees the accident happen, they brace for it and the passenger's sleeping next to him. A lot of the times the driver, because he braces for the accident and tenses up, will sometimes get like more damage to their body than the guy that's already lying there limb, right? Because they're yeah, in that or the or the drunk or the drunk guy that hit him, you that, know. That's true too. Yeah, it's 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 uh it's funny how that works, you know, we, we you make that face really like, and then you're done. <laughs> you know, it's <laughs> you see it with fighting a lot. Guys get, you know, they get spooked. You get what that's what, you know, fakes are for and, you know, all the movement is because you get someone to stick and then you can hit them and they're 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 ready for it, but at the same time, that's a that's a it's a hindrance at, at some levels. But I guess also when when you're saying like, say the legal side aside, um, you know, with athletes using it, at what point though does it cross over to becoming a PED? Like, say long term, say because I, I find with a lot of these things, uh, let's go with cannabis, uh, cannabis right now. Yeah. Um, I find that it's a lot to do with education, right? So. For years, decades, you know, everyone's just been like, don't do drugs, don't do drugs, don't do drugs. And now finally they're starting to pass the cannabis. I mean, more in the US than they are here. I mean, here it's still totally illegal. Yeah. But I, I, I find that... Really? I, I, figured, I figured you guys would come around quick. But nah, yeah, we're, we're, we're about 10 years behind, I reckon. Um, and so, you know, and, and with the education process, they're finally saying, well, studies yeah. show this and that. So, but say... You know, moving forward from from this point, like say with the psychedelics, if the education yeah. and and the research can prove that you know this is, I, I think they they even advertised here uh, yesterday that today on the news they're going to have something about psychedelics for ex military soldiers and stuff for their recovery yes. program and everything. So that's actually going to be on the news tonight, which is kind of funny that we're talking about this. But say it does at one point become legal the same way as cannabis has. Um, for athletes, though, where does it cross the line of, of PEDs? Like if you're saying it does improve your performance and it does improve all these yeah. things, which is, you know, in, in, in the straight definition of a PED, it's a performing enhancing drug. So, yes. Uh, well, th th this is how it is. I, I just, I don't know. That's a good question. I mean, if, if I were to recommend a microdose for someone, it's the magic. Okay, and, and in a higher dose because you have a, a sub-perceptual dose is a microdose. That's from 0 0.05 or 50 milligrams to 0 0.25 or 250 milligrams of a gram, obviously. Um, and when you get to from 0 0.05 to 0 0.19 maybe, I don't know, right around there, it's sub-perceptual. Then you get 0 0.2 to 0 0.25 is perceptual. That's where, like on my broken finger, um, <laughs> uh, that, that's, that's where you do get the uptick, the, the, the larger uptick where, you know, athletes like to perform fucked up. So it's this balancing act of like, where am I going to land? You know, if, if I go this way, I'm screwed and I embarrass myself. If I go this way, I'm not quite milking everything I can out of it like most fighters like to do. Uh, when it comes to performance, again, so back to that microdose, the magic, cordyceps mushrooms, because again, vasodilation, uh, adenosine triphosphate, you've got... Uh, Lion's mane mushrooms, which would be a nootropic value and a neuroprotectant, uh, helping a lot with that that neurogenesis I was talking about. Um, black pepper for absorption. Then you have uh, something for anti-inflammatory and also nootropic values like a turmeric and a full spectrum CBD. You know that that that's something like stuff like that that's going to help you with performance because you don't want your body to to be inflamed and be sore and hurt when you're moving. You know that that's 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 not that's not where we want to be. Uh, and I don't also, I don't want to excite your, your, your body. I don't want to, I don't need your heart, you know, all, all high on caffeine. And, and I mean, I, I made that same mistake. I get it. I, I, I'm doing this because I, I've done all, I've made all the mistakes. <laughs> um, I want to excite your brain. I want to excite your mind. I want to turn that on. And, and as far as performance enhancing goes, um, 
these are all natural substances, you know, and, and I think the big part of it is they can't test for it. There, there's not a test that USADA has for it yet. Um, yet being so, the magic word. Yet being the magic word. And also, you know, you, you have, I know the UFC will never test for it. I know that for a fact because I've been told that, you know, like this is, I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm on a friend basis with these people, like, and I, I get to talk to them seriously. And this is something that I, I highly suggest that they don't ever even go down that path because um, it will not be good for them. Like, look at the NHL, for instance. They're, they're blackballing one of my friends, my dear friend, Daniel Carcio. Two Stanley Cups, um, an individual like me who was a little crazy in his career, uh, his best friend died of, you know, substances and CTE sort of issues, you know. They blend hand in hand with your uh, just 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 bad habits that you get, the addictions you get through all this stuff. And um, he's spoken out and healed himself like I had, you know, um, with psychedelics. And he's also extremely educated like I am. Um, you know, we pride ourselves being these two buddies that can, can help as many people as possible. That's what we're all we're looking to do. Um, the NHL is acting like he doesn't exist. Like they're, they're, they're just, they're not doing what they should be doing. <clears throat> and I, I throw out a warning. What the fuck are you doing? This is, this is medicine. This is proper medicine. And if you, if you do your homework, have all your people, like you got all these people on payroll, have someone do some research, have one of your doctors do some research or call me or call Daniel. And you know, like back this because it's going to help everyone get better and heal first it's going to help everyone heal that um i can't blame you know the nhl the football fighting for 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 us being so damaged um but we are and they need to start taking better care of us because they're making a lot of money off us and they need to start doing that otherwise we're going to be a revolt and not on my side i'm retired i don't give a fuck i'm good I'm, i'll be helping these individuals no matter what i just i hope that those those you know organizations join our team like the ufc is doing this they're going yeah please you know yeah i can't give you money but uh please can you share the information and i'm like yeah duh <laughs> like i love you guys you guys are my friends um and it's my job to share this information it's my job to show as many people as possible this is something that i like to call the pollination effect um you pollinate these flowers and everyone will see okay these are the things everyone looks at the athletes the whether they're male female um the pe people aspire to be us, you know, they fantasize about being able to accomplish the things that we, that we do. And sure, some of us, like myself, I was born with a genetic lottery. <laughs> you know, I exploited that genetic lottery as well through, you know, working my ass off. But not, not everyone's cut out for this, but they dream of it or they, they at least like watching. They at least really enjoy watching. And it's not just fighting. We're talking football, all that, all, every sport, every sport, you know, motocross. I've got friends that are in. Uh, those sort of sports, you know, in the X Games, a bunch of friends, and they're just as fucked up as, as the rest of us mentally because they all, all had concussions, especially the guys on motorcycles, all the metal, my friends in Metal Militia, dude, they're, they all whack their heads like crazy. And, and just the fact that we can heal these people and uh, in turn, they can talk about it because once you take psychedelics, you don't shut up about it. No one does. And I guess, and so, I guess you know, we'll, we'll though, get everyone out there. I, I, I guess on that, though, I, I, I'd like to ask, and, and not that this is my belief, but, um, you know, being devil's advocate, I guess, in, in some sort of degree, um, for the naysayers that just say, well, this is just you trying to find a reason to take drugs. And, and, and the only reason I say that is for many, many years now, that's what people were saying about people smoking weed, right? They were like, oh, stoners. And then like you had people going, no, these are the health benefits. And it's like, yeah, you're just trying to say that. And it wasn't until now, as I say, that they've really started to come out with the information that people are like, okay, you've got the CBD oils, you've got this, you've got that. But like for people that are sitting on the sideline and they're, they're literally saying, this guy just wants an excuse to take, you know, psychedelics and he's trying to, wh what, do you, what do you say to people like that? I get it. I get why you would look at me and think that. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't personally. I don't personally. Uh, as I say, it's no, not no, my no. opinion. I'm. You, I'm just you, saying. You're my friend. Yes, you're playing devil's advocate, and we need that. That's that's we need to answer these questions. That's the thing, and I, I welcome these questions. It's it's what what I need. What we need as a, as as people that are doing this to get out there. We need, these things need to be said. Um, I myself believe in science, you know, and. Um, 
I know that, you know, organized religion and, and things like that tend to not be super stoked on what we're doing. Um, you know, just like now, like I, my loved ones are being discriminated against by all these churchy Christians out here in, in uh, Orange County. It's a bunch of rich Christian people that are just, you know, we're not allowed to discriminate against anybody <laughs> anymore. Anything. You can't discriminate against anyone, and that's great. I, I'm, I'm into it. I'm, I'm all for it. Okay, if a man wants to go into the bathroom with my daughter and wearing a dress, oh, oh, sorry, if, a, if, if it was someone that was born a man is now a female wants to do that, I understand the chemistry of the brain, go for it. I trust you. The bad people will be found out. It, I'm not worried about it. Okay, um, but you guys can still discriminate against me. You can still discriminate against um, someone like my girlfriend who has been a, a scientist for 25 years and is a UCLA professor. You can discriminate against us and our children and whatever because we choose to heal ourselves and other people. I'm not mad. I just want to talk about it. But let's let's have a chat, you know? And the, like you know, because it's not fair. We're not doing anything. We're okay, sure, we're doing something illegal, but but these people these people are are closed minded and they if they just take a look at the science Take a look at the most broken individuals out there, military and athletes, okay? Two people that are celebrated for what they do while they do it. You know, people want to be G.I. Joe and a pro whatever athlete. And then when they're done, everyone forgets about you. Every, a, a U.S. military person, a veteran, kills themselves every 22 minutes in, in this, in, in, a, in the world, you know, every day. And... If they, if these people just please do the research, I mean, uh, you know, people on CNN just took it. I can't think of the guy's name. Um, you know, like you, you have a little, go watch Goop. Gwyneth Paltrow is all for it. You know how many people have come to me and been like, I saw it on Goop. Have you seen it? I'm like, yeah, I've seen it. I don't, I don't care. I don't care how you got here. Just the fact that you're here. Or I, you have, again, that pollination effect. You have, I, how many parents have come to me and gone, Hey man, um, I, it's cool what you're doing, and I, you know, I, I took my shoes back in high school or college, you know. But my kid is now talking about this and just admitted to me, "Hey, I don't need my Adderall anymore, mom or dad." What? Why? I don't need my whatever Xanax, my this, my that. Um, and then they, they they admit to their parents that they've been taking mushrooms and microdoses. And I have these people come to me and go, "Dude, is my kid crazy? Is my kid what?" I'm like, well, number one, your kid is doing something illegal. Uh, yeah, we'll just get that out there. But how much better is your kid? How much better are your kid's grades? Or how much just nicer of a person are they? Like, how, how is the engagement? And they always go hands down. It's it's incredible. And I mean, from from normal kids or normal from from you know your 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 you know like kids in school to old, young, uh, whatever. They're they're just they're all over the place. I mean, you, you even see, um, you know, microdosing for autism uh, starting to come up or, or other, other sort of, uh, you know, neurological disorders. Like there's a million things that this is going to work for, that the science is happening at a crazy pace. It's going to overtake everyone. I, I, I honestly, they can fight it all they want. I don't, I don't even care at this point. I'm like, cool, go for it. That's great. Good for you. You're, 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 you're just, I well, can't wait for you to eat your words, you know, because, um, this is this. I even tell people who are all about you know about religion. I go, okay, you 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 want to talk to God? You want to talk to Muhammad? I have a phone that you can go directly to him. <laughs> like, and when people see that this is the vehicle to enlightenment, when they see that, look, we're not here to to tear down any you know organized religion or or any I, I, you know, ideas you have. Just check this out. This one will make everything work better. Every single person work better, more efficiently in every facet of life. And when we can get away from the, from the pharmaceutical drugs, we can uh, just be healthier people. Like when you take psychedelics, you don't want to go out and eat a bunch of junk food. You don't. It's, I, I don't. I can't explain it. I don't know why. But um, everyone seems to change their diet. And it's not always like, oh, I want to go vegan. I just had my vegan buddy text me today and goes, hey, guess what? Had a big trip on Saturday. I'm going to start eating meat with you. I was like, cool. Well, I'm going to go hopefully to Hawaii soon. And go shoot an axis deer, and then we can all barbecue at my new farm. <laughs> but it is crazy. I bought a farm, by the way. It is. We're buying one. Yeah. Buying one. Nice. Um, yeah. <laughs> but it is crazy, as you said, with the pharmaceuticals as well, right? Like it's it's like it, it and 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 I say that 
because you know there's been times I've seen people go for instance to a doctor and they're like I'm facing anxiety problems or I'm having this sort of problem and the doctor turns around and goes sweet we'll put you on antidepressants and it's like it's all you have to say but it's like That's I'm it. not I'm not depressed like why are you trying to put me on antidepressants right like I'm I'm just saying like maybe my anxiety is high sometimes and you know this and that yep we'll put you on antidepressants and it's like but hang on a sec, you know, and and it's just like because they look and they're like, well, this is legal. We'll put him on this, and hopefully it'll dumb him down and 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 you know be done with it. And it's yeah, you know, they say come back in a month and we'll talk about it because by then you're a fucking zombie. It's so gross, dude. I, I've seen it happen multiple times, and you know these these selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors are disgusting. One of the side effects is you might want to kill yourself. You're taking this fucking drug because you already want to kill yourself. And that's the extra sub oh, an extra bonus. Anal leakage and I might want to off my, myself even more. I, I'm going to – my sex drive is gone or, or just physicality and if human interactions. Everything's killed. Like we, we push these, these things on people that manipulate their bodies in ways that are insane. And then you think back to the placebo effect, okay? You know why there is placebo effect studies? It's because you can get the same exact effect out of these drugs as you can without taking a shit, by taking, with the, by taking a sugar pill. Because your brain thinks you're, you're taking something that's going to help you. Can I, do you. How does no one understand this is happening? And you're like, what? Like, no, don't do that. Why would you put that in your body if, if there's – you might get a little help, but you might have all this other crazy stuff go on. And – and it, knowing that, I'm like, no, nah, th- you can't take. I won't. I won't. I don't even take aspirin anymore or Advil or anything. It's always natural stuff. You can manipulate the body, the chemistry of the body and the brain with natural substances so easily. You know, CBD. Get on. I mean, get on a high dose CBD every day. See how much better you feel. You know why? <clears throat> People say, oh, CBD heals everything. Kind of, <laughs> to be honest, kind of does. Uh, why? Because it works off the inflammatory response of the body. Okay. And that's a big thing psychedelics do. I just figured out why. I'll explain that later. But you know, you have, you know, a cannabinoid and cannabinoid receptor. They bond, works on inflammation. Every single bad thing in the body is tied to inflammation. And you know, one way or another, it is directly tied to inflammation. And if you're knocking that down, whether it's a rash or an injury or an autoimmune disease like my daughter has, it's gonna make it better. I mean, she couldn't walk at two and a half and now she's you know, she's eight years old and she's doing jujitsu and she wakeboards and snowboards and skateboards and drops in on, you know, on cement bowls with uh, Christian Hasoy is one of her, one of her coaches and his kids. Like she's, she's a little savage, you know, and it's because she takes CBD all the time, you know, and I'm sure at one point she was taking high dose THC as well when she was a baby and getting a three year old stoned is not that funny. Um, I mean, it's kind of, but not really, you know, it's like, but the thing is she's not on methotrexate which is a chemotherapy drug. She's not on naproxen, which would do bad things to her. It's also bad for you. Uh, painkillers. I forget what the painkillers they're trying to put her on. Um, and I was like, nope, not happening. Um, they put her on it for like a month, and I was like, just bah, bah, like, stop, 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 stop. I talked to doctors, scientists, and it was diet and exercise is always first, and then an inflammatory diet, anti-inflammatory diet. You know, And, and adding in, in CBD is huge. Okay. So you can knock that down, and that that's a massive performance benefit in your body, just in general, just feeling better, less depression. Um, I mean, depression and again is linked back to inflammation. Okay, so you have, um, you know, with psychedelics, are the same thing. What they do is they, well, like say psilocybin, it goes from psilocybin to psilocin to serotonin, serotonin antagonist, where it helps the body, you know be more efficient with, with creating serotonin, but all, but mainly it will create a flood of a molecule that looks just like serotonin and makes your body feel the same way. So that's where you get the psychedelic adventure out of it. Um, or you know, the overwhelming sense of awesomeness. Um, and in that, while turning that on, those pathways are then, the inflammation is released in the pathways, and that's where they've seen a lot of depression be knocked down, anxiety, all that sort of, sort of stuff. I, I'm reading about this every day. I'm, I could, I parrot things, so some of this information could be wrong, so I'm sorry if it isn't. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure most of it's right. 
And I think I think a lot of it's to do with you know you when you, when you hear as well that as as human beings we only use ten percent of our brains is what they usually yeah. say, right? And then and then you have people that use these psychedelics or you know I, I've spoken to people that maybe not use m- mushrooms but they'll use DMT or something like that, and they talk about it's a way of unlocking a bigger portion of the brain that you already have available that just yeah. us as human beings, we, we, we just don't tap into. We, we can't access. And, um, I mean, you, I have, to, I have conversations about portals and other dimensions like pretty much every day <laughs> because I've, I've been to other dimensions. I've gone through those portals. I've, I've been in states and seen things that are unexplainable. They're not, you can't even talk, you can't even verbalize them. They're so intricate and elaborate and just wild. But in that <clears throat> in that sense, you know, you you have this, you know these little things called McKenna's elves, the little beings that are inside there that kind of you know, can either mess with you or help you through things or what have you. Then you know you see sentient beings, you see like whatever God is to you, um, and you know like it's I've seen all this stuff. Well, it's you know, weird because it. when it's when you talk about that as well, um, as I said, I've I've spoken to people with the with the DMT side of things, and and they call it totally spiritual. They're like, you know what? Oh. Like uh, a lot of people, I I had a friend, and and he actually said he said it, it feels like you're being christened again, and it's 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 a real spiritual connection, right? Um, but on that same yeah. token, it's something that you wouldn't want to do every single day either, right? It, the, you yeah. know, I remember the guy. He goes, look, if you're gonna do it do it on Sundays, right? Do it the same way you would go to church. It's your <laughs> spiritual moment. Yeah. You do it once a week, that's it. You're done, you know? Um, but yeah, it, it, it really is. And I, and I think, you know, you, you get a better sense of awareness with all things, right? Um, yeah. And a, as I say, it, 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 really, it really helps you. Oh, as you said at the beginning, it really helps you find out a lot about yourself, but also about your surroundings. And I think that's important. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is how I got sober, was DMT. DMT was, was the thing that finally told me, like, hey, I mean, I was addicted to, to painkillers for 20 years, 14 to 34. I was a high-level athlete, you know, a world-class athlete. I was high most of the time. I think I was sober once, and I became the best on the planet when I was sober. So that just shows you. I just was very talented. I just was also very addicted. Um, but DMT was, was the molecule that just set my mind right, where I was like, okay, this is what has to happen. I need to get this career over with <laughs> and get out of this space because this is not healthy. I don't need to be here. I was world champion like seven years ago. What am I doing? <laughs> you know, it was just, oh, I don't know. I just, I wanted to go to Japan and fight. I'd never done that. I never stomped on anyone's head in a ring before. So that seemed like a good idea. <clears throat> um, and, you know, so you can soccer kick people. It was just it was me going back to being a savage and a little bit of a psycho um, and just never fighting in Japan. I grew up with pride. You know, like I, I, <laughs> I thought pride was, a, pride, pride was the coolest thing. I couldn't admit that, right? Pride was incredible. Um, you know, having Lenny Hart scream my name and fireworks, just the whole thing was, was so worth it. But um, I got nothing out of Japan, you know, from, it only made me look bad. I got knocked out for the first time in my career, and uh, my face got cut open by a rope. And the now cave probably still feels a little shit. I, I, uh, I was going to say you got you, you got nothing out of Japan apart from a little bit of bad luck, right? Like it really it really was. Um, you know, um, they pay really well though. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> They give you good money for that. Well, at least you got something out of it, I guess. But um, on, on it was that, fun. On that as well, do you do you ever get the itch again, or are you like are you happy that you've walked away and, and and you're done? And I only say that because you know you see a lot of fighters they retire, they come out of retirement, they retire, they come out of retirement. Like, are you one hundred percent within your soul? You're like that was a part of my life, and I'm done. Or do you sometimes get like itchy knuckles? Never. So. Uh, bare knuckle boxing offered me a fight recently, and I was like, "Get the fuck out of here!" <laughs> what? I was like, "No, shame on you." What is my my old agency called? He goes, "Hey, big money, big money. You can, you know, we'll get you a fight, bare knuckle." And I was like, "Fuck, asshole! Don't ever ask, call me with this nonsense." And everyone never fight like that. Um, my my hands jacked up, dude. It doesn't work, anyways. Um, but 
And you don't want to jack it some more? No, dude. And I, I just, I was, I was just laughing. I'm like, okay, I'll talk to you later. Have fun, man. Thanks for calling. Good talking to you. And uh, of course, like an hour later, I was like, hey, what's big money? <laughs> Guess what? My star has fallen so far. I, it was thirty thousand dollars. I mean, I am not cool anymore. Uh, so I was like, no, thirty grand, bro. If you came out with three hundred, I would actually maybe think about it, but um, I wouldn't do it. Three hundred grand. My daughter even said she's like, you're never fighting again. My girlfriend and my family. I just I don't I don't want to fight ever again. I'm over it. I don't want to hurt anybody. I don't want to hurt myself. I don't want you know like more importantly, it's I just don't have I'm not, I'm not that person anymore. You know, and I'm proud of it. I, I don't like what I I don't like the person I was. The person I had to be to be for that long. You know, um, I was a psycho, <laughs> and I just I I'm I'm not proud of it. And I've made peace with it, but I, I don't want to be that person ever. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm so much happier, you know, I'm, I'm, like I said, I, I bought a, a, I'm buying a farm, helping buy a farm with some partners, um, so we can have a beautiful farm with an oasis and we've got, you know, just basically a place that we can go, it's built by a prepper, it's got solar, it's got everything. We just, we have a farm, you know, like it, it's, there's a group of us that want produce and we want a place to, if anything gets weird here in LA and Orange County. Um, you know, just to be safe. We've got 40 acres and fully functioning farm the produce in the desert because we have a hot spring, some of the purest water around. Um, fully irrigated. Everything's, you'll see it's on, it'll be on my social media soon. But um, So you'll, be off, you'll be off the grid, so to speak, right? We, we, are, we are still on grid power and water, but we have, you know, a 600-foot geothermal well. Um you know, and, and again, we'll be able to produce, you know, dates, figs, citrus, mangoes, all kinds of other stuff. We'll be build more infrastructure with it. Because right now it's just, it's run by one dude who built the place, this Mexican guy who's amazing. He built it for some rich guy and we're just going to make it a, a more hub, a habitable place, you know, because we have a group of us that are a little tribe, you know, we all work, um, you know, most of, yeah, I guess most of us work at Alex, you know, we're, um, we're just people that just be by ourselves. People are going so out there. That's the point. You know, we want to, it's, it's just my friends and I. Like, we are able to buy it, so we're going to get it. And there's a, a whole lake and a hot spring there. It's, like, incredible. We, we want a place to go vacation and go stay at and go camp at and just be happy at. You know, and, like, we all, you know, we're, we're all yoga people. We all do a bunch of yoga. And, you know, we do gong work. And, like, you know, we have, we, the, when we first, our first weekend there, we had our friend, our gong master friend, who's his name was Tantar came by and, you know, put just to Alacras and the whole place. I mean, this place is incredible. And we'll just make it our little Eden because we can. Nice. And uh, I guess what you're doing is rather than having to travel to this side of the world for you, for the retreats that obviously you've, you've done in the past, um, you'll bring the retreats to you. No, 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 no. Um, that, that In the U.S., that's illegal. <laughs> so, no, no. Uh, people, of course, eventually I'd like to build them retreat there one day you know like because again i work with some of the best minds in this business you know people who do have retreats in other places like i'm not doing anything illegal here because there's a lot of people involved and we don't have to do that <laughs> uh and that's the thing is you know when you when you say illegal like what what is what is it like uh, uh, so i'm guessing now because obviously from the photos it's like, it's, 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 uh, from the photo. Retreat, okay, so. all right. Because I I thought it was more yeah. like the yoga side of things and 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 just like to get away. I I, I didn't realize. So those sort of retreats are the ones that you're probably dealing with Sherpas then. Oh, oh no, you mean shaman? Or shaman? Yeah. Yeah, Sherpas are the guys that carry your stuff. That's right. Sorry. Place. So the the shamans. No, so right. is that the kind of retreats yeah. those are? Okay. And and where where uh, were, some of them, some of them yeah. And where where were they based? Well, see the, the the main retreats that I do are they are they're not psychedelic retreats. The, there's there's stuff there's things that you know we get into. Of course, I'm I'm actually looking to get into a um, I haven't started yet because I'm busy, but uh, a three year course. My girlfriend and I to be to be certified by the ONAC, the Oakley Breha uh, Native American Church, um, to be certified shaman and healers. Um, I'm not looking to be a shaman. You know, I, I just want to know the process. I want to know everything in this whole in this whole game as deeply as I can, because we have the political stuff working with DCRIM CA. 
um, one of the event coordinators, um, you know, working on a, on a shamanistic level or psycho-spiritual level. You know, three years of training is a lot, and that's what I'm embarking on. I like it. I'm not really interested. <laughs> we have the performance, which is my, you know, my little obsession. Um, and you have, um, you know, the healing side of it with, with you know, you know, with the vets, because the, our study that we have with the UFC is through unlimited sciences. That's what we're doing with, like I said, Rashad Evans and Heather Joe Clark, uh, Del Jolly. Um, you know, we're we're not just doing not just doing you know, combat athletes. We're also doing vets because this there's just two groups that are really screwed up that tend to hang out a lot. I got a lot of friends that are, uh, you know. F- in that space, you know, special forces guys or former special forces guys that I've always just been particular with because they just, we just get each other. You know, I've traveled the world and, and educated um, military guys. I mean, and I always end up hanging out with the special forces guys just because, I don't know, they're cool. <laughs> they have really cool stories, um, you know, and they're just, uh, they understand peak performance, you know, and they're all a little psycho too. We're more than a little psycho, they're psycho. So it's great. It's, it's a lot of fun getting a bunch of crazy people together. Yeah, it always makes it for an interesting weekend anyway, right? Um, yeah, well, yeah, you've seen how I party. It's a lot of fun. We have a good time. <laughs> which, we, which leads me to like, um, you know, I mean, we obviously met when you when you came across uh, for the flyweight tournament uh, in Australia, Sydney, um, which still to, to, oh, this, yeah. to this day, I, I still look at that and I'm like, man, imagine some things just went the other way there. Like, I, I it, 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 it's crazy. But, uh are you ever planning to come back to Australia or you just, you, you, yeah, you, you had the here, bad hold, experience hold, hold, hold and you're this. like, I'm done. <laughs> no, no, I'll, I'll be this. Let me turn the lights on. It's realize how dark it got. Hold on. You're all good. So yeah, uh, Australia. Yeah, you, you, you came am, across uh, and you were basically like, "F those judges. They don't like me. I'm done. That's it. F the Australian people." people. <laughs> you know what? My one of my best friends. He's uh, he's from Gold Coast. He's uh, he's here in LA. I mean, I'm, I'm I, so I always have a little piece of Australia with me. Uh, but uh, I, I need to go back. I need to go back for you know just to go for vacation. I, I don't. Like very, very rarely do I go go vacation somewhere just a vacation. It's always there's always purpose or business behind it because this is how I work, and um, I need to just take a vacation. That would be a place that I would love to just spend a couple of weeks at. You know, just take take myself and my girlfriend and our kids. There's a bunch of them, so uh, it's just fun to travel like that and go see a bunch of stuff. You know. Yeah, no, and I and it is a great place for the kids, right? And it's definitely a lot safer, you know. They can they can wander around and do their own thing, and and yeah. and, and, and we're just good with that. And obviously, the beaches are there, and but uh, you know, I'm starting to come across like London, a, London's the eight. But I was going to say I'm and, I'm, and I'm then, coming I'm coming across as a uh, Australian billboard right now, but no, it, it, I mean at the end of the day, it's like as I say, like it was fun catching up with you over on your side of the world last time yeah. I was out, or the time before that, but uh. You know, uh, as I say, I know I know Australia misses you, and, and and it would be good to have you on the on this side of the world once again. Well, you know what, I've I've always wanted to <clears throat> to go out there and do a, a tour, just teach a bunch of MMA seminars. Like that was has always been an idea that people have pitched me, but no one's ever actually made happen. Um, and you know, I I would love to go over and teach what I teach, and uh, you know, I always tell the, some of the athletes that I work with, I'm like, listen, I'm not. I don't have time to be one-on-one with you physically, like that much. Maybe every once in a while, once a week. I don't know. It depends how much, what sort of conversation is going on here. I'm busy. I, I always have shit to do. Um, but I work with people, you know, in this sort of manner and, and, and some visual relations stuff, you know, mental work, because that's what immigration work is. Um, then we can go over the performance stuff as well, you know, um, uh, how to how to work it, you know, and how to, you know, just make sure they're doing it the right way. Um you know, but it, to go over there and teach martial arts, you know, I, I tell the guys, I, look, I, I know, even your coaches know, I know, I know more than they do about fighting, <laughs> just because I know more, a lot. It's just kind of weird. Um, but that's besides the fact. I'm not trying to be your coach out of that. You know, I'm not, I'm not trying to get in their way specifically. I want to work with them. So 
if you know if some people are, are sometimes worried about reaching out, like I don't want to piss my coach off. I'm like, no, 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 I'll talk to your coach, and we'll tell them what we're doing so they know, and then they'll and I'll ask them like, you need to tell me what you see, how you see them working because I'm not there. You know, it's it's this is a team effort, and I, that's what you know um, things I want to stress because there's there's coaches don't work really well together sometimes especially strength coaches and mma coaches oh they are all crush you sides and i'm like that's that's not how you you guys gotta talk so you don't do that you know like you can't be crushing somebody every single day that's, that's why there's so many injuries in the ufc um that's why there's so many injuries in most sports because they're just you're going too hard but you know it, you you shouldn't be pushing your your strength and conditioning that hard if you're crushing your body every time you perform you know what i mean like there's things you can modulate that are going to give you peak performance and uh again i've always been kind of obsessed with it so <laughs> um it's just a lot of help that i have to offer people yeah and i mean the, uh, I, I spoke uh to luke jackson on the third first third first podcast and uh the, the whole question I raised there as well is like, is there a point of overtraining? I do find that a lot of these athletes, you know, they, they push themselves that hard and then at the end of the day, you either get injured or I just feel like fatigue kicks in as well. And, and then when it comes to like D-Day, you're not performing as well as you should, could, would, I don't know, um, you know, but it, it it's such a competitive sport that people are just like, I, you know. Well, okay, like, so, so. Sorry, what was that? Yeah, it's it's crazy. And when you when, when you're in the fight or flight, uh, your is producing tons of cortisol, okay? other stress hormones. You're not going to protect itself. It's just trying to protect it, you from whatever you're killing you. a bear um, that's in their underwear with you and beat your ass, like you know that sort of situation. Um, so again, m you know, microdosing can help you modulate the stress response that your body's going to have to before, uh, during, and after the, the PTSD you're giving and receiving while you're in there. Does that mean, no one, no one says this enough, like we're climbing into a cage in our underwear to fuck someone else up for blood money in front of millions of people. You know, it's kind of, it can be, it can be a little traumatic. Um, and, you know, I just, I just want to make sure no one gets off worse for the wear um, <laughs> as much as possible. You gotta protect them. I mean, I, this is the most entertaining sport in the world for a reason. Uh, so I have to keep it entertaining, but I also wanna protect the people. You know, there's things you can do with diet, like huge things you can do with diet that help you help your performance so much. If people are eating unhealthy while they're fighting, like, come on, dude, you're, you're building a race car, okay? You're gonna prep and prod and, and test this race car out, the motor out. And then when it comes to, 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 to race day, are you gonna, put crappy fuel in it, you're gonna fucking eat McDonald's. E ten all the know. way. Or at any pro at any process in building a race motor, are you gonna put shit fuel in it? No, you're never gonna do that. Like why I, I would always stress it and I always told fighters like listen because most of them met me like out being wild and partying, you know, in Vegas or something silly where I just let loose and did really silly things. Um, I'm like, listen, if you eat super healthy like I do, number one you'll look great, but you'll be able to party harder. Because you won't be like I'm telling you, if you eat and, and drink really shitty, like you know, you're, you're gonna not feel good, <laughs> and it works, um, you know. So but you... Uh, like, like, okay, so have, have, have you have you been watching my social media? Uh, where mushrooms? Okay, we have uh, in in mushrooms you have uh, antifungal, antiviral properties, antibacterial properties. Okay. Antiviral, we'll go with the middle one. Um, there's things called polysaccharides and beta glucans that are strengthening your cell walls, your immunity cell walls, so coronavirus can't latch on. You know, like that, well, there you go. Why would you not be eating mushrooms? And then you have uh, I put a, a large variety of people always ask, well, which ones should I eat? Eat all of them. Like if we went to Whole Foods today and I bought like 10 different kinds of mushrooms, so I'm just going to just eat mushrooms as just every single meal I can do over the next until those are gone because uh, they're super good for you building your immune system. You know, you, you have the, uh, you know, how you, how you have your, your micro, your microbiome, your bacterial body inside you. 
Um, well, you also have the microbiome or the mycological biome inside you. And people don't, they don't take care of that enough. They don't even know it's there. Like healthy people have no idea it's even there. Uh, and, um, you know, the larger variety of mushroom you put in your body, the, the larger variety of protection you have from viruses, from bacteria, from fungal stuff. So, um, yeah, like white mushrooms, there's a great source of protein. Uh, you've got, uh, you know, trace elements, trace minerals, you know. It's a, they're, they're good, a lot of vitamin D. Vitamin D is really good for you. You know, that turns into, that's a hormone, so. I, I will I will say though that it, it it's never a case of one glove fits all um, and and I only say that because I've only yeah. ever had really one allergic reaction and uh, I mean this is going back 15 20 years ago and I yeah. puffed up like crazy my chest yeah. totally went I went into a hospital and and they basically figured out that I was eating too much mushroom right or fungi they they oh, said sure, they, they, basi- sure happen, they yeah. basically said fungi and they were like listen take fungi out of your diet blah, blah, blah. and and to be honest with you i mean i, I do eat mushrooms now with breakfast and, and things like that but um yeah. because i reduced that i've never had an allergic reaction again so there and, and as i say it's with anything you yeah. you've, you've got to have moderation then don't eat mushrooms. <laughs> or you know exactly i'm telling you like okay then you shouldn't eat it like there's exceptions to every rule and this is what I say about the micro diet. What, like, let's say if you have a table full of food, you've got, you know, fruit, nuts, meat, and vegetables. If you choose to add or just like basically, if you, you choose to take away any one of these things, meat or leave the meat and just do all meat or do only vegetables, good for you. Like, but don't shit on everyone else for keeping the rest of the stuff on the table. Just whatever you're eating, add in a lot of mushrooms, okay? And only add stuff to the table that are, is a good positive idea or thing that you've done with just being vegan or just being carnivore. You know, it's just um, it's this whole argument about uh, diet is just so obnoxious. Without a doubt, and but as I say, like it, it, it's just uh, moderation. I mean, it's the same with the vegan, the yeah. uh, vegan and meat. Like I don't eat much meat. I must say, like I'm I'm not like oh, I've got to have a steak every day of the week, or or I probably have a steak once twice a month. Um, but there are moments that my body will um, kick in and I will just crave a steak, you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. and, and, and then I have it, but then I'm good again for, as I say, uh, a half month to a month. So it's, it's one of those things that, yeah, as I say, like everyone's different yeah. and, and, and it doesn't matter which way you go, you know, it's the same. Like a soda is not going to kill you, but if you're drinking soda every day of the week, it's yeah. bad for you. It's the not same the fish. Truth. Fish won't kill you, but... If you eat it every day of the week, you'll create things like gout and, and, and things like that. So it's, it's yeah. you know, it's, it's er- everything's in moderation. Exactly. Just eat everything. I, that's what I do. I literally eat everything I can. Like I eat all kinds of stuff, just constantly. So are you still Whether training? Try and, uh, yeah, I, don't, I haven't been like rolling or anything. I actually lost a lot of weight. I lost like 20 pounds. I was, um, I was lifting super heavy for like over a year and so hang on what, ha, I was, how, I was how heavy did you actually get because you you didn't lose 175 175 because i was going to say if you lost 20 pounds from yeah. a 125 uh there'd be nothing left no no no, 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 no. i was I, i'm probably 165 right my way maybe one maybe high 50s but um i'm just i put on a lot of muscle and when i was that big i, I was working at lifetime fitness i took a year off to be a personal trainer and it was it was good i, I had a lot of fun um but dude i got so big i was like what the fuck i, I had just never i had never lifted weights in my life for that for that to look pretty and i was there every day so i'm like cool yeah i'll just uh, lift weights and get jacked and i did i was just, i got like too big and it was it just was annoying and i was i was drinking like one or two protein shakes a day i was uh eating you know like a big breakfast, a big lunch. Or like it was just, uh, I was eating too much. It was, yeah, it was a lot. Crazy. Well, I think, you know, like we, 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 we're pretty much at, at a point now where I'm going to wrap it up anyway. Yeah. Um, but I do really appreciate the time that you've, you've given us. Um, for people that do want a little bit more info or they just want to reach out to you personally, it, it, w- where where's the best place to find you? What's the best platform to find you on? Is there any sort of social groups that they could join in on? Um, yeah, where, where where's the best place? 
So on my social media, it's the all method. Um, that's where, you know, I, I'm my coaching method. Um, my regular is Uncle Creepy MMA, like you can see on the screen here. Um, but go to my website, method.com. You can book some sessions and we can go over some stuff. And yeah. Uh, you know, in the whole psychedelic space, it's a, it's psychedelic integration for couples, for parenting, for just everything. Um, but you know, specifically, you know, I think I see, I do some things in performance that, uh, no one else is, is doing. So, um, yeah, uh, uh, help me, help me do some studying because <laughs> I got to figure some stuff out. Well, oh, and also if you're on Facebook, if you're on Facebook, uh, do the South Orange County Psychedelic Integration Circle. I know it's wordy, but South Orange County Psychedelic Integration Circle is a um, group, and uh, we'll have some Zoom meetings uh, pretty soon, hopefully, because, yeah, we need to start doing it. But, uh, yeah, check it out there. Uh, I, I post stuff every single day. Well, with that, I have to say... Thank you so much. Um, it obviously was a, a, a different conversation than what I'm used to, um, but I, I, I totally see the benefits in, in what you're doing. And, um, yeah, we're, we're going to call it an end there. So, uh, you know, for people that enjoyed the content, make sure you give it a like um, and share and subscribe. And until the next one, we are out. I'm away. I'm away. Why?